Hey, Winchester. Not much Ninja Killer, we just lost a Hall of Famer. What is up, YouTube? It's John McCain 23, aka The Undertaker. One, two, three, WWE Future World Heavyweight Champion. We just lost a Hall of Famer named Bobby the Brain Heaton. If you want to see his matches or his DVD, just go to the WWE Network for only $9.99 a month. And you can see him. And his family, along with Gorilla Monsoon. Right, Winchester? So, Winchester, which match you want me to do since Bobby the Brain Heaton is not a playable character in 2K17? Versus who? I gotta download a WrestleMania 5. Was it for the Intercontinental title? Alright, I gotta download that arena. YouTube, if you see that by the brain he died at the age of 73, right, Winchester? But if you want to see him, we should ha like have a charity for by the brain he and Winchester. YouTube, let me tell you a story about by the brain he and by the brain he and is one of the most talented managers and funniest guy when he came to be a babyface in WCW when he say that he was not joining the NWO but, but afterwards he did join the NWO and then he said you know what I don't like the NWO they can stick it up and BAM that's how he came to be a good guy right Winchester And now, I'm going to download some of the WrestleMania arenas that he was in Winchester. Mm-hmm. Now, it was our... Well, the Brain Busters was Oli Blanch Tully Blancher. Yeah. Alright, let's see what we got here. If you want to see one of the matches with Bobby the Brain Heaton, just go pick up his DVD. He'll make the DVD will make you laugh and will make you cry at the same time. And the brain will be the funniest guy if he was still around from tonight.
The game that you and Beast are playing. He got rid of it because he was getting born because he had no one to play with. Dead by daylight. What's up, Pedro? Lacked out or something. What's wrong with you? Mm hmm. You're playing GTA 5? I'm not. We lost Bobby the Brain Heaton, right, Winchester? Is called a brain. Winchester, let me tell you something. When Ninja Killer got upset with me, he didn't have anybody to talk to. That's why he went off on me. I don't give a shit about... It. Yeah, I remember that, but... <coughs> but i never seen Ninja Killer brainwash me before. Nah. He, Winchester, Ninja Kill helped me out when I was down. Why do you... <sighs> Winchester, why do you think... Some, sometimes if people don't want to talk about what happened, we don't have to bring it up. But I'm not mad about, th about that. But let's just drop it for a while, for the night, okay, Winchester? I don't 
know who Gunman is. Bowman Doom. Oh. Oh. What's up, Dark? Nah, that's his ultra ego. Oh, boy. Oh lord, here we go. <laughs> mhm. Mm but Winchester, that was the past. Pedro did have a point when he was talking about his sis when FBI was talking about his sister, right, Pedro? But it you know that Ninja Kill is talking to you, bro. you, Pedro. Remember? I think I might bring in a little jam in here so you can tell him about what happened to Bobby the Brain here in Winchester. I said, yeah, that's what I said. Not, not a game. Too cold. Oh, what the? Hold on. I just want to. 
Why you about to put Auntie up and you freaking 60 overall? No, oh, I said when I bought my PC. Oh, Wait, what are the 2K? Stop. Oh, God. All right. Hey, PC, you bring the bottom up because I can't. I don't know why it won't let me pass. Hear that, um, Zombie King? Yeah, I'm getting a lot of views for freaking 2K Chain, though. Hmm. Yeah. Not that, bro. He's just that he's crazy. He wanted to drink toilet water? That's disgusting. You should have got him right there, Pedro. Not one trust, but FBI. You should have got him right there. And Pedro, guess what? I, guess what I heard from Winchester when he was in the party that he was to say hi to Colby Vaders. Tell him Winchester. Tell Pedro. It's true. No, I heard it when I was not in the party, when I was not front, when I, I'm no longer friends with Twister. You're staying in the party, bro? What's up? You okay, Ryan? Hold up.
crushing wreck I'm back. Show off. Hello, everyone. We are about 10 minutes away from New Orleans. Well, at least pretty more annoying when she was. We've been waiting a long time for this. The, the championship, championship is up for grabs right here. Next, it's Rick Rude in a match of epic proportions. Big fight feel. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the World Wrestling Intercontinental Championship. Here we go. The singles match will not disappoint. I can guarantee you that. You're right about that. Let's get it going. These two have been waiting for this one for quite some time, and to be honest, so have I.
from Robbinsdale, Minnesota, weighing in at 252 pounds, Ravishing Rick Rude. Introducing the champion from Parts Unknown, weighing in at 276 pounds, he is the World Wrestling Intercontinental Champion. So much anticipation, and it all comes down to this. A superstar gets a certain feeling when he knows there's a strong possibility he may exit the match in a completely different condition than he entered. That's not exactly a comforting thought when it's your career. And Michael, with the championship on the line, you know these guys are going to do whatever it takes to leave here with it. This is going to be a hell of a match, boys. But we all know that matches don't get much bigger than this one. With a title and professional legacies at stake. Guys, let's briefly discuss the challenger. So you really think you can unseat the champion here? Talk about rising to the occasion. I tell you, the champ is going to have to be on point here tonight. A oh, win here would be monumental. Adding gold to your trophy case is the goal of every superstar and deal. Wow, Rick Brown is really put together. He must have been spending extra time in the gym preparing for this one. A blatant disregard for the rules here. Yeah. 
staying out of trouble. Yep, just did a trivia match. We lost one of the. Yeah, we lost a Hall of Famer. Hey, Grandma, did you hear that Bobby Brain Heaton died? No. Wow. Age 73, he's older than you. Yeah. Alright, I'll put the pink can under my bed. I'll be right back, Pedro. I'm back. The big boss man. Mr. Perfect. Bobby the Brain Heenan. Now don't go anywhere. We have a classic coming up. I'm not going anywhere. We have Big Boss Man versus Mr. Perfect. There's no doubt about it. This is gonna be good. He said he had to do something. He'll be right back. He'll be right back, he said. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the World Wrestling Intercontinental Championship. Oh, boy. We're in for a treat tonight. Both of these superstars look geared up and ready to go. The fans have been demanding this one-on-one -on -one contest, and here it is.
from Cobb County, Georgia, weighing in at 330 pounds, the Big Bossman. Introducing the champion from Robbinsdale, Minnesota, weighing in at 257 pounds, he is the World Wrestling Intercontinental Champion. And social media is a buzz with the outcome of this match. Singles action is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. Oh, this one's going to be good. One of these guys is about to leave with the gold. Which one will it be? We're going to find out right now. Both these superstars are going to find out about themselves real quick. Regardless, a title is up for grabs, and time will tell which one of these competitors has the strength and savvy to grab it. What's your analysis of Mr. Perfect? Doesn't get any bigger. What can we expect from the champ here? Take it from me, it's not easy to fit the goal night in and night out, but somehow the champ does it with grace. Or by cheating in your case. Well, in this world, you got a chance to make a national impact every time you step in the ring. I move mean, like that is completely unnecessary. Unless you want to degrade your opposition, of course. I agree, Cole. I mean, this is intentional humiliation. Mr. Perfect showing us how to get it done. How's he doing this? Here we go. Back inside the ring. Boss man saw that one coming. The champ looking a little uneasy here. He doesn't want to absorb much more punishment if he wants to win this match. Ah, sure, he doesn't look great right now, but I'd be surprised if we find out that he doesn't have a little more fight left in him. Oh, man. It certainly seems like he's in some serious trouble here, guys. He may be in the best physical condition I've ever seen him in. Oh, trying to put him away. Challenger's taking on some offense. I fully expect him to bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. I'm not concerned. I don't think I've ever seen him look more motivated than he looked heading into this match. Oh, look at the emotion! Punishing the chest like this can only make and real fast. Yeah, this is getting bad in a hurry. And what a reversal there from Mr. Park. Incredible. Here's a couple. Look at this action. And there's still plenty to come. Oh, yeah. Let's go. I believe that is the first time tonight we've seen that move. Wow, he's still down after that. Good Lord, that wasn't even close. So that's what it's like being so far off the mark. Am I the only one that sees he's cheating? He's showing no signs of letting up. Crowding, 
Bahia. Cool. That doesn't make sense at all. I mean, we didn't do anything. Brandon, the only. Go ahead, I'll wait.
I'm going to restart this broadcast right here, YouTube. I'll be right back.